dear friends our today's topic is development of surfaces of cube so consider a problem based on cube a cube of 50 mm edges is resting on a face on hp such that all the sides equally inclined to vp and it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to vp and inclined at 30 degree to hp also it passes through a axial point 12 mm from top side draw the development of cube clear now up till now we have seen the problems of prism so this problem is now a uh, cube we know cube has four edges on top surface four edges on bottom surface and four vertical edges as it is a cube all the edges have the same length here it is given 50 mm correct now here one different thing is given that the section plane is perpendicular to vp and inclined to hp correct so the plane is inclined to 30 degree incline at 30 degree to hp but the condition is given that it passes through a axial point 12 mm from top side clear so axial point means measure the distance of 12 mm on the axis from top side top side means top surface clear so let us see the solution of such problem so try to draw the initial views first of all draw x y line as usual then this diagonals okay and draw the square this is the square face of the cube clear the size is given 50 mm okay then label the points 1 2 3 and 4 clear now to draw the front view of this cube the front view will be again two uh, square faces okay 1 2 and 2 3 and 3 4 and 4 1 they are the overlapping faces clear so draw the vertical projection from all these edges in this way and the mesh uh, the height is equal to the length of the side that is 50 mm so measure it and draw the locus of this top surface from this 50 mm height okay now this two rectangular surfaces they are nothing but the reduce reduce size of this two square faces 1 2 and 2 3 correct so for convenience we can give the labels to the corners in the front view as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash okay so now let us just try to draw the position of the section plane okay now see on the axial point axial point means on the axis so this is the axis this vertical axis it is overlapping with this edge so from this top surface top side of the cube measure 12 mm distance in this way okay 
and mark the axial point this is the axial point okay so draw the section plane passing through this point in this way so inclination is what 30 degree to hp to hp means to xy line or this horizontal line okay now the remaining part so this above part above portion is the cut portion okay so remaining part is this edge this bottom edge this vertical edge and here up this complete third edge and this portion okay these are the remaining part so just locate the points first as p dash 1 this is p dash 2 again it is p dash 4 so there is no intersection with the third edge hmm? it is just like the previous problem of the prism okay now just draw the outline for the remaining edges in this way okay now from this point a dash and b dash draw the vertical projection in the top view to locate these points a and b so now on 2 3 face this 2 3 means this is the square face 2 3 okay so here is the point a and here will be point b okay so locate them then this is the cut section cut portion when we observe from the top clear okay now our aim is to draw the development of this remaining surface okay so taking the length of perimeter is equal to 200 mm we already know now this 4 means 4 edges and 50 is the size given clear and here the height is also the 50 mm so draw a rectangle in this way now divide this length of rectangle into 4 equal parts as 1 2 3 4 and finally again overlapping the length of each this part is equal to 50 mm okay name the points okay now to locate the points points that means p dash 1 p dash 2 hmm? p dash 4 so we can measure this distance and mark here to locate p1 similarly here p1 measuring this distance p to 4 on second edge and fourth edge okay this is the method or simply we can draw the projection huh. in this way for projection it is necessary that this line this best line should match with this x y okay then and then we can draw the projection otherwise we have to take the distances these distances and mark on the respective edges okay so now look at the points p1 p2 p4 and p1 again but now see uh, a and b they are on the top surface top surface means on this above line clear okay so a will be in between 2 and 3 and b will be in between 3 and 4 so for convenience you can take a distance of 2a in compass and you can mark here point a okay this is the method 
similarly you can take distance of 3 to b in compass and you can mark the point b clear so let us mark the point a and b okay and join them all the points by straight line okay this is the development okay now the remaining edges you can draw by thick line so outline you can draw in this way this is the development of the remaining cube clear so i hope you understood this problem thank you